guys. Happy home doing this thing. Uh, short video. I, just, I know it's been a while, but just had a couple of uh, updates here that I wanted to share. Um, well, first, in my garage here, just uh, it's Girl Scout cookie season. My wife's been running uh, two troops, so you can't really see everything here, but the whole front end of the garage is full of cookies, two different troops. So uh, it's been interesting and it's been very busy uh, last uh, almost month now. Um, on to homebrew related stuff though. I finally got around to motorizing my grain mill. So I'm going to be showing you some footage here. So here's my grain mill. Found this cart at a thrift shop, mounted everything up on top. It's a power grinder motor mounted onto a monster mill too. Copper extension. And just a flick of the switch there. I got about 12 pounds of grain in here. It's for a brew that I had just done. This is the uh, Copperhead Red Ale that I'm brewing. Put some ductwork underneath there to kind of contain the dust a little bit. Shoots it right off into the bucket real nice. Definitely does keep down the dust quite a bit. I mean, it's going to be a little dusty. But it does go down at a decent rate. So rather than bore you, we're going to skip ahead a little bit here. Like I said, it's a power grinder motor, Lovejoy couplers, put everything up together here. Shout out to All American Air Works for the motor. I'll put their information below. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, speed this up just to save you the boredom of watching it grind slowly. Total time start to finish is 12 pounds. Took about two minutes, which I'm pretty pleased with. And we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the crush here, which I have it set at 0 .038, and a nice, consistent, good crush here. As far as the uh, the other things that we have going on, um, got a couple of brews going. One that's been in the primary for almost a month now. Uh, it's a ginger saison. I'll show you some footage of that here in a second as well. Uh, basically, had some issues with the fermentation on it. Didn't realize that it needed to be really, really warm. Um, did he keep it in a, in a warm room. It did have the temperature up to about in the, you know, in the higher 70s, probably 78. But it turns out that the uh, Saison wanted it to be over 80. So went out and purchased a heat belt and brought it up to about 82. Once I did that, this is what happened. Look at that. Very happy yeast. Just bubbling away. was kind of dead, but now it's bubbling like crazy since we're warming it up. So, hallelujah. We're back on track again. I've been checking it every three days. It's finally got down to 1.012. So it's pretty close to what I was expecting. Uh, I took a little taste sample of it tonight, and it is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably keg that guy in a couple of days. The other thing, which uh, yesterday, at a brew day, we brewed a red ale. So I'm going to call the Copperhead Red Ale. Um, that uh, was a very good brewing session there. Uh, original Gravity 1060. I'm sorry, 1050. So, uh, so that should be all good to go here shortly. Um, I'll probably post the uh, recipe for the uh, Red Ale here in the more info section for you guys to so see after that. And that's probably about it for the moment. Uh, tomorrow is the car show. So actually, the car show is all week, but I'll be going to the car show tomorrow with the children. Uh, it's something I take to them every year. It's the Philadelphia Auto Show. It's pretty cool. You get to see a lot of uh, cars that you can't afford. So, and, you know, they get to hump, hop in all the cars and uh, play around with the little gadgets. So it's always a good time. So uh, a little cold out here right now, so I'm going to head on in. And um, happy home for Wednesday to everybody. And hopefully I'll be able to do some more of these here in the near future. So I'll see you guys later.